This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch Account tutorial on how to create a virtual machine using VirtualBox. I have a VirtualBox installed on my Mac. I have a link for it in the show notes. Just download it and install it. You can follow along. We're going to do an Ubuntu virtual machine. Download the ISO image. It's also available, and I have a link in the show notes. So with Virtual box open, we click new, and the wizard's going to guide us through. We'll say next. Now we can say here that it's going to be Linux, it's going to be Ubuntu, and we'll call it Ubuntu 10. It's a good, hearty name. Click next. Now it gives you a recommended base memory. I'm going to go a little bit above that. You never have too much memory. Click Next. Now the boot hard disk, they're recommending about 8 gigabytes. I'm going to tell it to create a new hard disk. You could use an existing hard disk if you wanted to. Click Next. And now it's giving you a wizard to create a new virtual disk. You can have a dynamically expanding disk, one that gradually gets bigger as you add things to it, or you can have one that's a fixed size and doesn't grow. The difference is that with a fixed size disk, you have to allocate all the space all at once. And the dynamically expanding disk, you don't. So we're going to say next. We'll let it be 8 gigabytes. Click next again. Then we'll click finish. Now we'll click finish on our new virtual machine. Here this is. Now see here under CD, DVD, we'll click on that. We're going to say mount CD, DVD drive, and we're going to do an ISO image. Found it right there, so we'll click OK. And now we're ready to create our Ubuntu virtual machine. You see here is a summary of what we have in it how much base memory, what operating system it is, the boot order, and so on. So all we have to do to start creation of our virtual machine is click start, and we're off to the races. So, this is creating a virtual machine in VirtualBox, and that's all there is to it.